Good afternoon. It's Monday, 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 June 7th. I'm going to do a quick progress report on the second attempt at the drum, which is this, which of course makes it look really big. So, <clears throat> okay, so this is the drum. As you see, it's got a fancy little bit on it. You may also be able to detect it, the, um, the neck appears a little thinner, and that's because I've already done the trimming I could do with it upside down. So the next step is to cut it off the wheel head. Uh, when I'm feeling lucky, flip it over and do the trimming of the mouth that the goat skin will attach to. So when that happens, I will have this big mouth tube. And the problem is that when I fire that, um, there is a very strong possibility that it would catch in some way unevenly on the shelf as it's shrinking and it's going to change size it's going to get smaller that's that's unavoidable so what i've done over the years is figured out to make one of these so this little disc is designed to sort of cushion the shrinking and to keep it round so what i will do is i'll, I'll put a, a, a layer of fine sand I'll put that little disc down, and then I'll put the drum mouth, large mouth, onto that disc. And that way, as the disc shrinks round, the drum will shrink round. Okay, another issue that comes up with this, let me see if you can demonstrate this, is that when I was trimming this, I realized that in the drying, this part isn't exactly parallel. So when I flip it over, the mouth won't be exactly parallel. And I have two options, basically. One is to then just start trimming it to force it to be parallel with this. The other is I can put little bits of clay under here when it's upside down. To, to, to artificially make the mouth parallel once again with the wheel head, um, which should make it easier to trim. That's usually what I do when I have you know a chalice or a mug that's got a wonky rim, is you know I'll, I'll shim it until it behaves, at least behaves well enough to be trimmed. We'll see what I do with that. Um, so those are the remaining issues. Obviously, the shape this size. The flipping it over part is a little fraught, um, but that's what's next. Exciting day. Have a good day.